Hello and welcome to this instructional video regarding stretcher safety and proper use. This video will demonstrate the proper techniques in securing a patient, transporting that patient safely, and loading the patient safely into the ambulance. This video will also demonstrate proper lifting techniques and the art of teamwork in order to make sure every team member completes each call free of injury. We have both manual and power stretchers at Brewster Ambulance. Both will be demonstrated in this video. Both stretchers require both team members to be attentive at all times when utilizing this equipment. Only Brewster Ambulance team members who have been trained to use this equipment should participate in the use of this equipment. When securing a patient to the stretcher, make sure both side rails are in the up position and secured. All seat belts must be fastened in proper positioning, as shown here. Please remember to use blankets to keep patients warm and comfortable, especially in the colder weather. Both team members should be in proper position prior to lifting the stretcher. Closed loop communication is important throughout this entire process in order to facilitate a smooth transition from the time the patient gets on the stretcher to the time the stretcher is secured for transport. When securing a patient to the stretcher, make sure both side rails are in the up position and secured. All seat belts must be fastened in proper positioning, as shown here. When raising the stretcher, waist height on the average size human is a good reference to what transporting height is. Because the power stretcher is significantly easy to raise and lower than the manual stretcher, it is important to set the transport height using good judgment and common sense. An appropriate transport height is between two to three clicks down from unloading height. Avoid rough terrain or slopes when moving the patient on the stretcher. When loading a manual stretcher, it is important to use proper lifting technique in order to avoid injury. The team member who is lifting the legs of the stretcher should ensure that the stretcher has been fully lifted and the pressure has been released from the legs prior to pushing the legs up. This ensures that a stretcher tip will not occur. You will hear the release of pressure by a click on the stretcher. When unloading a manual stretcher, please ensure that you use proper lifting technique and that the legs are down prior to releasing the trigger. Immediately set the stretcher to a transporting height in order to ensure that the stretcher does not tip. For both types of stretcher, it is imperative that team members make sure that stretchers are locked or caught onto the ambulance prior to loading. This ensures that there are no instances of stretchers falling out of ambulances. Both team members are recommended to lift this power stretcher to reduce injury, since the legs of the stretcher are taken care of with the push of a button. When unloading a stretcher, please ensure that the legs are completely down prior to releasing the button. Immediately set the stretcher to a transporting height in order to avoid a stretcher tip.
Prior to utilizing a stair chair with a patient on board, please ensure that all parts of the stair chair are locked and secured in order to facilitate a smooth lift with the patient on it. Place a blanket over the stair chair to keep the patient comfortable, maximize lifting capabilities, and minimizing patient contact with the device. Once the patient is properly seated in the stair chair, wrap them in the blanket to prevent their arms from reaching out and also for their comfort. Please explain to them in detail the entire process they are going through in order to keep them calm. When transporting a patient on a stair chair, plan your path of extrication. Team members should walk the path that they are going to take with patients in order to mitigate any obstacles that may be in the way. All straps should be secured. Team members should utilize closed loop communication techniques in order to facilitate a smooth transition and prevent any tips from happening. Always be aware of your surroundings. Ensure that the stair chair is properly locked prior to putting a patient on the device. Whether you are at the head or the foot of the stair chair, it is always important to use proper lifting techniques, communicate extensively with your partner, and ensure you have proper footing as you go down each step. Take your time, remain calm, and reassure your patient throughout the entire process. Please take note of the bariatric stretcher that we have at Brewster Ambulance. When utilizing this stretcher, please ensure that you have an appropriate amount of team members in order to facilitate a smooth, safe lift. When transporting a patient on this stretcher, it is imperative that the stretcher is set at a proper transporting height. Avoid rough ground or terrain that would cause a stretcher tip.